Hi there, so in this video we are going to take a look at vectors and matrices. So when we are dealing with some of the math operations inside Mathematica, you will come across calculations where you have to make use of vectors and making vectors in Mathematica is very simple. You just have to create a normal list and that will be treated as a vector depending on the calculations that you are taking. So let's take a look at a simple list, name it vector1 equals 2, then within curly brackets, let's say I'm typing down some numbers up to 6, and then hit shift enter, and you have your vector ready. Similarly, you can also see the matrix that you can create here. Before that, let's take a look at this suggestion bar here assuming a vector use a permutation and list of digits instead so you can choose that depending on your calculation now let's create one matrix let's name it mat1 and here you have to first create two curly brackets which are left aligned and here let's start adding data then close it then comma then again curly bracket left aligned and let's say four, five, six. You can close it. Then one more, seven. Then comma, eight, nine. Close it twice to close your matrix. Then shift enter, and you have your matrix ready. Now it shows you that it is a list of lists. So if it's matrix, then you have to put it into matrix form. So when you are making use of matrix form, the operations will be symbolic. As long as you keep it in this list of list form, you can perform additional operations which are just not limited to symbolic math. So let's take a look at what this matrix form is. So let me create a new variable, name it mat2 and then simply call matrix and then choose matrix form keyword then square bracket then mat1 close square bracket then shift enter and you will find your list of lists converted into matrix form okay so this is just one way to do it there is also another way let's take a look at mat3 as another variable and here I am using my mat1 then forward slash twice then matrix form okay and then shift enter and you will get the same output as earlier note that when you're converting into matrix form then you will find that it is limited to your symbolic set of operations so if you want to take it as a list and perform some different calculations then you have to avoid converting it into matrix form okay so what we have seen so far is we learn how to create a vector which is basically just like our list then we learn how to create our matrix in the list of list form then we learn how to convert our list of list into matrix form using matrix form function here okay which is alternatively can be used with our matrix and then forward slash and then another keyword that does the same operation okay so this was a short demo on how to create vector and matrices